Hey guys, I'm Colin. I got another Transformers video, and this is going to be a versus again. I have the original Transformers Prime Beast Hunters Voyager Class Thundertron from like 2012, I want to say, maybe earlier, against the Transformers Legacy United Prime Universe Thundertron. Now, since I have no packaging for, for original Thundertron, I'm just going to stick Thundertron off to the side for right now. And, yeah, it's that open box thing, but I got this at GameStop, so more likely they're, they're watching their stuff a bit better. It's got this cool little artwork design on the front. It's got on the back, we've got some cool artwork. On the side, we've got the cross cells. On the back, we've got pictures of, more clear pictures of him. And, like, this, you can already see, they changed a lot of stuff between these two guys. So let me go ahead and get him out of the box. Alright, so we've got Legacy Thundertron out of the box, and we've got original Beast Hunters Prime Thundertron next to him. And I gotta admit, I'm kind of torn about my opinion about these guys. So we're just gonna have to get into it, right? Let's go ahead, and before I talk about them in detail, let's bring in my size comparisons. I have Film Noir Spider-Man here. I've got Scourge here. We've got Soda Can. We've got Hubcap. And it's nice to see that they didn't shrink Legacy Thundertron at all. If anything, he seems to be bulkier and even bigger than the original. So, like, they put more plastic into him? I don't know what's going on there, but okay, okay. And let's bring in the Siege War for Cybertron car guys. And, of course, Age Before Beauty. Let me go ahead and simultaneously gush about this guy but also kind of beat him up a little bit because he does have issues but okay so just looking at him he was intended to be a space pirate character there's supposed to be a whole subset of characters called the star seekers and thundertron here was their captain and they were space pirates and they had a spaceship and they went around doing space piratey things they even have their own logo does the Legacy one have the logo? Oh, Legacy one has the logo also, thank goodness. Okay, and they're the same. Very, yeah, they're the same logo. But Thundertron here, like, he still... Uh, he looks good in robot mode. He's got the, the bulky shoulders, and he's got, like, the, the, the shoulder armor... To represent his rank and he's got the long flowing captain's coat thing going on and like it looks good and he's got this whole like voltron like head right in the middle all spread out looking kind of thing and that head sculpt looks ancient and mean and like it yeah i like that head sculpt he's even this little plate here is actually specifically for transformation so in robot mode he's gonna have this cool looking head crest the light piping doesn't work very well because they just painted the eyes over in red. And his head always is going to have a hard time turning because his long beard sinks into the um, the lion head there. He does have translucent arms, but it's only translucent on the outside edge. But, like, overall, in robot mode, he looks really good. There are a few issues here and there. His shoulder armor tends to slip out of place because of the, uh... Just the design itself kind of things push against each other. Like, his... This is his shoulder armor that's both decorative and kind of functional. And there's his actual shoulder armor there. And so, like, the articulation in the shoulders is a little restricted and it bumps against things. But he does have ball jointed shoulders, swivel at the shoulder, very nice elbows that do go backwards, but that is absolutely for the transformation. Lots of translucent clear plastic in the back. No waist articulation, absolutely because of the transformation. He's got ball jointed hips and at the hip swivel. Very nice, like not quite double jointed, but they, they function almost as double jointed, and like this very big knee bend going on there. And uh, on the one leg, he's got a ball joint in the, the ball peg and ball and peg in the foot, so it's a socket, 
And then the foot has this side thing it can go on, and even the back heel can get fold. Oh, actually, that I think is supposed to fold in for robot mode. So that that's the robot mode foot right there. The other leg is actually removable. Why is it removable? Because he's a pirate, and what do all pirates need? Well, not only do they need a peg leg, which is absolutely hilarious, but you need a parrot, and there we have his little foot parrot creature thing that go ahead and stick in his hand right there. But this foot thing comes in handy. <laughs> foot handy. It'll still stand pretty well even on the one leg. Let's talk about his weapon for a minute. His weapon, I don't get because... I've actually seen people disassemble this and put a handle onto the cutlass sword here. So, like, when you put it on there, it's a claw thing. But then as you pull the power pack around, it transforms into the sword mode. Which, I mean... Okay. And it's supposed to light up also. And the, the light-up feature never worked right. It was supposed to glow the entire blade out. It never really did. But one thing you can do is you can take the foot, and it's got these peg ports on either side. And you can use the foot to lock the whole sword in place. And then go ahead and mount that back on his arm so you can have him in full combat mode going on here very cool stuff going on with him let me go ahead and transform him because he is kind of a pain to transform one you're going to want to take the uh, sword and let it transform back into its standby mode yeah this thing they should just give him a regular sword with like a built-in battery pack or something let's take the uh foot and like I like that peg leg right there. That's a good peg leg. And before I transform them, actually, let's go ahead and do a side-by-side -side comparison real quick of the peg legs. Because the newer one also has a peg leg. I like the older ones better. I, I like the older peg leg better. It, it, I don't know. It looks different. It looks better. We'll go ahead and put that back there. Put him back there. And there. Okay, so to transform him, we're going to start real simple by putting the fists back inside the arms and turn those arms backwards. That will come into play in a little bit. Fold down the shoulder panels, get these decorative pieces out of the way. Those are going to become part of the uh, lion mode legs and just stretch that all up out of the way. The uh, head here, you got to be careful with. Open up that crest and pull this out. Am I doing this right? There we go. And as you pull it up, the head is supposed to lay down into the, tor into the other head. There we go. That closes up there. Close those blue bits, close back these side bits here, and there you have the head all transformed. Again, look from the underside here and see how it looks. Bring this piece up here, that's going to cover up the head and get that all tucked away. Bring the arms in. Oh, no, 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 no. that needs to hang down like that because the arms come in here. Then we're going to take these arms and bring them up to the front like that. And you see these slots here? They're going to tab on to those side pieces there. And like getting them to line up is really finicky. Give me a second. Okay, so in order to get this thing to work. There is a slot back here that needs to go onto this tab, and then this tab can go into the back of that arm there. 
And then there you have his front end all transformed up. The back end is actually pretty simple. You're just going to spread the legs out because there's on the slider pins. Turn the legs around at the hips and then bring the legs down, bring the knees down. And of course you got to spin the feet around to get them orientated properly. Flip out that other part there for the back of the uh, lion. And this part right here, the uh, back of his coat, there's a tab in there that's going to get up inside there. Like that. And there's a couple of more things. There's a tab on either side of his coattails that slot into the side of his hips. See this little slot right there? People think that these slots are like for like air pockets so that you can get the... Uh, bowl joint out. No, they, they will use those as part of transformation sometimes to clip and tab things in place, which is a great idea for them to do, really. And there we have him in his lion mode. And before we talk about the lion mode, let me go ahead and give him his weapon. And we'll just tuck him off the side there, and we'll talk about the remake Thundertron and transform him real quick. So, we did the side-by-side -side earlier. We had them side-by-side -side earlier. And, like, he looks like a full-on captain. But, like, this dude, like, I don't know what they did with him. But, like, he just... <sighs> He's got these big, poofy shoulders instead of those cool decorative armor pieces. Yes, I will give you this, okay? The remake is a lot more stable. Okay? There's not as much weird bits hanging off of him. There's a cleaner backpack. There's a cleaner head transformation. Like, all around, it's a lot cleaner, but, like, he's lost something in the look. There was an elegance about the original one that I just, I don't know what to say about it. They did go ahead and get rid of the, the uh, Power Razor gimmick, and they just gave him a straight-up cutlass sword, which is a very, very nice sword. You can take off his foot and give him the peg leg thing also and then what you're meant to do with this now is plug it onto the cutlass and like make it a bulkier cutlass i don't know what the point of this was they really should have just figured out a way to turn this into a parrot and just have it on his shoulder or something because that was the running joke with the old one this this looks like a dried turkey now i i don't like that but like it's 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 part of the thing He's got the cool blue paint and the gold paint and, you know, the head is a lot more poseable. But then, I like the head on the older one. The head on the older one had a lot more detail to it. The uh, There's a lot more stuff going on with the beard. It just it looked better. I don't know. Yeah, let's go ahead and, um, let's go ahead and get into transformation now. Can I do this properly without multiple takes? Go ahead and knock those forward because those are going to be the legs later on Put those no keep those straight do the legs split apart no they don't lift the whole okay you just lift the whole chest up these arms are going to come into the middle here And they are going to peg together. Okay, so arm, the, the upper arms are like this. The forearms are going to peg together like that. And then I think. Okay, so the arms do peg together like that. I'm just not getting them to line up correctly right now. And they're going to sit right up there because the, uh, oh my goodness, come on now. Okay, so thinking the arms need to face this way, then the lower arms turn inwards so you can peg them together like this. And the whole arms come up like this.
and that's going to go underneath the head here and then these these two tabs you need to make sure the wrists are straight so that those tabs can clip in there and hold all that together then un out from underneath the shoulder pads we're going to bring down the lion mode legs and we're going to twist those around and these pegs on the side Gonna peg into the arms there and close that down. And then we can fold out the feet all the way. Alright, I gotta fix this. Okay, I'm not sure what that was about. I just wasn't getting things to line up properly. We close the shoulders down, and there we have the front end all done. Come back here to the back legs, and um, that the thigh has to get turned to that. Oh, come on now. Turn the thigh. Turn the thigh around like that. Oh, I'm having such a hard time with this guy. Let's 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 keep going. I guess the legs get turned around at the knee. These joints are really tight and stiff on this guy. Go ahead and give him back his foot. And this panel here, his back panel, lifts up and over this blue part clips in underneath the head yeah I should have mentioned that earlier that back skirt piece likes to come off I'm just going to leave that there and we're going to peg this part back on and then there's these two tabs here that are going to slot into place behind that skirt part and I'm not something isn't lining up correctly but this tab is supposed to go underneath that head there and there we have him in his lion mode Get on there, peg the sword in place, straighten the legs out, get them, yeah, yeah, I'm struggling with this newer guy, and there we have them both in their lion modes, now let's go ahead and bring back in hubcap, and let's bring in scourge, and you can see that these are these are really big Lion Transformer bot guys. That's that's something that's kind of cool about them is just their size, you know. We have Film Noir Spider-Man. See, even Film Noir is, is, is shocked by the size. And we've got here the uh, War for Cybertron car bot guys. I like the older Thundertron. He's got this whole sleek, very powerful, almost starship, you know, like he's a fast attack craft kind of. It does kind of suck that the way they did his um, lion mode arms is they've got the robot forearms pretending to be lion upper arms because there's like no articulation up here. Other than this right here and that ball joint, like that's all just static and locked in place. It has to be just for the structure to work. Sometimes I'll transform the arms underneath the torso, but then that just leaves this ugly skeleton arm for the front arm. And you got the legs back here, and the legs have all the same posability, and he's got the nice blue to silver translucent 
blue to silver transition paint going on like he's got his issues mainly in the head being kind of finicky and stuff but i like that i i, I like the older one the newer one is like blocky and bricky and like it looks good in its own right, but I still don't know what to make of it. The transformation was kind of frustrating, but like... And like, underneath, you can see the head right there. There's there's no visible robot stuff underneath the, the older one, which is kind of cool. They're both running the same price. This guy's 30 bucks. This guy was 20 bucks when he came out. But, you know, he's gone up in price. And the newer one is bigger and bulkier. Like, that just confuses me. So, I don't know why they went ahead and updated the character design at all. If I had to choose between one or the other, I would really recommend go track down the older one. It's got its own finicky issues, but it embodies the character a lot better. But if you're looking for a sturdy, strong lion robot transformer, yeah, the newer one is better in that way. And I just noticed they they damaged his they, they they damaged his captain's coat. It used to be longer. They shortened it and made it look all ripped up and torn up. And they've they've given the newer one battle damage. That is that is an interesting little thing there. Okay, um, I hope this video has been informative. I'm a bit lost and confused on either one of these guys, but yeah, there you have it. I'm, I'm Colwyn. This has been Transformers Prime, Thundertron, and Transformers Legacy Thundertron. Both good figures in their own right. Both have their own weird little issues. Really, it's going to be, which one do you prefer? Do you want to get the newer one, or do you want to go out of your way to track down the older one? So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching.